Hello everyone, this is R.S. Miller at TheEndTimeNews.org and today is March 3rd, 2014. Here's a short update to the Ukrainian crisis. It is being reported that Russia has given an ultimatum to Ukrainian forces to surrender or face the consequences of a military assault. According to Russia's Interfax news agency, a source in the Ukrainian Defense Ministry is reported to have said, if they do not surrender before 5 a.m. tomorrow, a real assault will be started against units and divisions of the armed forces across Crimea. Russian sources have dismissed the report as total nonsense. Other recent reports have stated that Russian military vessels have blocked the exit from Sevastopol Bay for hours and are currently standing right in the waterway leading to the Black Sea. According to El Menar website, Ukrainian government has said Russia was also building up armored vehicles on its side of a narrow stretch of water near the Ukrainian region of Crimea. On Sunday, the Ukrainian government mobilized for war, reportedly calling up as many as one million reserve troops. The crisis in the Ukraine is said to have created the biggest confrontation between Moscow and the West since the Cold War. Arsny Yatsenyuk, the interim prime minister of Ukraine, said, This is not a threat. This is actually the declaration of war to my country. If President Putin wants to be the president who started the war between two neighboring and friendly countries between Ukraine and Russia, he has reached his target within a few inches. We are on the brink of disaster. Also on Sunday, Secretary of State John Kerry said that it was an incredible act of aggression in Ukraine by Russia and threatened to isolate Russia via U.S. and allied economic sanctions. Meanwhile, the G7 leaders released a joint statement saying, We, the leaders of Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, the United Kingdom, and the United States, and the President of the European Council and President of the European Commission, join together today to condemn the Russian Federation's clear violation of the sovereignty and territorial integrity of Ukraine in contravention of Russia's obligations under the United Nations Charter and its 1977, excuse me, 1997 basing agreement with Ukraine. We call on Russia to address any ongoing security and human rights concerns that it has with Ukraine through direct negotiations and or via international observation or mediation under the auspices of the United Nations or the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe. We stand ready to assist with these efforts. We also call on all parties concerned to behave with the greatest extent of self-restraint and responsibility and to decrease the tensions. We note that Russia's actions in Ukraine also contravene the principles and values on which the G7 and the G8 operate. As such, we have decided for the time being to suspend our participation in activities associated with the preparation for the scheduled G8 summit in Sochi in June until the environment comes back where the G8 is able to have a meaningful discussion. The statement goes on to say, We are united in supporting Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity and its right to choose its own future. Friends, the situation in the Ukraine could end up being the spark that ignites the flames of war, a war which could engulf the entire world. But whether it starts now, over this particular crisis, or whether it starts over some other crisis, mankind is absolutely incapable of living in peace and harmony for any length of time. This statement can be easily qualified by simply reviewing human history. However, the Bible also tells us that there will be no peace until Jesus Christ returns to put a stop to those who are destroying the earth. And without getting into it here, that time is very near. 
Are you saved? Follow the link in the box below and pray the prayer of salvation with a sincere heart and you will be saved. May God bless you.